بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم ویلکم بیک فرنس ویلکم بیک ٹو نیتر ویڈیو لیکچر بائی کامی مایکرو بیالوجیسٹو ٹوڈین دیس ویڈیو لیکچر بیار بون ٹو ٹاک اپاوٹ ایوسین میتالین بلیو اگر میٹیا ان دی پریویس ویڈیو لیکچر ایف یو گائز ریمبر بی ٹاکٹ اپاوٹ دا بی ٹاکٹ اپاوٹ میکون کی اگر بی ٹاکٹ اپاوٹ نیوٹرن اگر بی ٹاکٹ اپاوٹ So we talked these media, if you miss these video lectures, so go back to my channel and watch these video lectures. So this is again another video lecture which is actually related to the culture media. And in this video we are going to talk about Eocene, Methylene, Blue Agar or EMB media. So let's start the video. Now let's start the video with the introduction that what is actually eucine methylene blue agar media. It is actually we can say that this is again the type of the culture media okay which is called selective media as well as differential media. Now it is called selective media because it is specially used for the isolation of gram negative enteric bacilli. And it is also called differential media because it can also use to differentiate lactose fermented and non lactose fermented bacteria. I hope all of you better know about the lactose fermented means when the lactose are used and acid produced. Non lactose is opposite to the lactose fermented. Now let's talk about their discovery that who discovered this media. This media is actually discovered first of all by Hollett Harris and Tegu. Actually, these two scientists, you know, uh, used the lactose and sucrose. They actually mixed the media with lactose and sucrose that are acting as a source of the carbohydrates. Then another scientist named Levy that modified the media a little bit by adding peptone and phosphate. And moreover, they removed the lactose. Thus, the media have lactose content in a, high, uh, in a huge number. Okay, so this is a little, a little bit about the introduction and discovery of the EMB media. Now let's talk about the uses of this media that how we can use this media. Remember guys, this media is specially used for the isolation of E. coli bacteria. Because on this media we can easily check the E. coli and E. coli is actually producing green metallic sheen colony. It means that it can produce strong acid by you know fermenting the lactose and producing strong acid due to which the uh, pH value are become lower due to, uh, thus we get green metallic sheen carbon. Moreover this media is also used for the isolation of salmonella bacteria as well. Salmonella is what it is the non lactose fermented bacteria or it is also what coliform bacteria as well. We can also use this bacteria for the isolation and identification of uh, gram negative enteric bacilli from where from the clinical as well as non clinical specimen as well. We can also use this media to check the water quality from let's suppose if we collect the contaminated water and if we want to check that uh, the water is good for health or not. Especially we use inside the water we mostly check the coliform and non official or non official coliform bacteria from contaminated water as well now let's talk the composition of this media this media these are the most important ingredient of this media as you can see okay so remember guys this media contain animal tissue peptic digest 10 gram for one liter this media contain lactose sucrose 5 gram for 1 liter. Moreover, this media contain dipotassium uh, means PO4 which need 2 gram for 1 liter. Eucine which need 0 0.4 gram for 1 liter. Methylene blue 0 0.06 gram for 1 liter. And agar 14 gram for 1 liter. And obviously we need what? Distilled water 1 liter. So these are the most important composition of this media as well. Now let's talk the principle of this media that what are the main 
function of the uh, you know integrator which is present in this media as this media contain eucine and methylene at the ratio of 6 ratio 1 means if eucine is 6 a gram so methylene blue will be 1 gram the presence of these two dyes inhibit the growth of gram positive bacteria thus gram negative bacteria growth will be allowed okay moreover these dyes you know uh, ferment, uh, allow the bacteria to ferment the carbohydrate we can also you know uh, talk to that this media is specially used for the gram negative bacteria because uh, the gram negative bacteria you know utilize the lactose or ferment the lactose because this media contain the lactose when the lactose is fermented so remember guys the acid is produced when the acid is produced so the pH value are become decreased due to this way you know we get dark purple or green metallic sheen colonies sometimes slow lactose fermented process occur which means that less acid is produced so what we get we get brown pink colonies of the bacteria remember guys if we want to check the non lactose fermented bacteria so in this case we mostly get light pink or colorless colonies mostly okay now the peptic digest which is present in this media is acting as a source of carbon nitrogen and other essential nutrients due to this way the bacterial you know get the nutrients divided and growing this is the most fun most important function of these ingredients now this media contains the sucrose which acting as a carbohydrates that produce energy for the growth of bacteria this media also contain dipotassium PO4 means just like any Cl so PO4 have the same function means it can maintain the osmotic balance it can you know make the cell competent due to which it can uptake the ingredient which is present outside which is specially needed for the bacterial cell or the, the waste material which is present in the bacteria will be released out so this is called osmotic balance now how we can prepare this media so remember guys if we have what if we have the ingredient uh, let's suppose if the bottle is not available mostly you know bottle is available uh, and we can make the uh, EMB media if the bottle is not available so then we can mix all the ingredient which we talked in the previous slide uh, and then we heat mix it or to clave it and use now let's suppose we have a bottle so then weight 36 gram powder of EMB using weight balance machine and then mix it into 1 liter distilled water after that heat mix it using hot plate at 60 to 7 degrees celsius now then autoclave it at 1.1 degrees celsius for 15 minutes after autoclaving then mix the media before pouring at 50 degrees Celsius when the media temperature is reached to 50 degrees Celsius after that pour this media now wait for the media to become solidified and after the media gets solidified so then inoculate the bacteria means streak the bacteria which you collected then incubate the plate after incubation 24 hour incubation at 37 degrees Celsius examine the colony on each plate so this is how we can prepare and use this media now let's talk that how the bacteria bacteria colony will be look like using this media as we talk that this media is specially used for the gram negative enteric bacteria uh, gram negative enteric bacilli okay so all these as you can see these uh, four or five are what these five or six are the gram negative enteric bacilli and we also talked that it is specially used for the E. coli because E. coli you know producing strong acid due to which we get green metallic sheen colony perfect colony and it means that it is the lactose fermented bacteria pseudomonas eruginosa produce colorless irregular colony means it is non lactose fermented bacteria enterobacter eruginos producing pink dull colonies means it is lactose fermented 
salmonella and proteus produce colorless curlew means it is the non lactose fermented bacteria and then clepsella produce dark pink and mucoid colonies means it is lactose fermented bacteria and obviously there is no growth of the gram positive bacteria due to the presence of eucine and methylene dyes this slides explaining the bacterial colonies as you can see these are the pictures of the bacterial colonies on this emb media so as you can see clepsella have you know pink colony if you see it in a real or live so you will see pink colonies on picture it's showing a little bit black colony but it actually it is you know dark pink colonies remember guys okay this is actually dull pink colonies if you see it live now these are the colorless colony which uh, is the proteus and this is the growth of e coli you know green metallic sheen or uh, it you know become shiny if you eat live if you see it live salmonella have dark pig or it is you know uh, blackish colonies as you can see pseudomonas have also colorless colonies so these are the colony morphology on this media this is all about the emb so i hope you guys get idea about that thanks for watching